mean the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge pledge of allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, the first day of the year meeting, I haven't got a big crowd here today. Uh, <laughs> um, any public comment? Anybody here? Anybody online? Okay. Have you had a chance to review? Have we had a chance to review the minutes from twelve twenty eight? Yes. I see nothing. Do you want to make a motion? To I'll make a motion to accept as written. Uh, I'll second it. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All right. We have minutes from uh, a meeting we had at the Blue Building in Effingham on the same date. Do have a motion to approve? Make a motion to approve as written. I'll second it. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Corey Scott, Emergency Medical Service Director, good opening. Shall go do comments? Oh, I'm sorry, Commissioner Comments. Well, she's giving him anyway. Uh, just got a couple. Uh, next week, our meeting is on Monday, January 10th, because it's the organizational meeting. And that, noon. that huh? 12 noon. It's at noon. Okay. Uh, and that's by statute that we have to have that meeting at that time. Um, also, we had good attendance at the county township meeting held last week at Blue Building in Effingham. That was between the uh, uh, road and bridge and the townships discussing the, the maps and the situations with the, uh, that they get into. And we reviewed that. Uh, I thought it was well received. And then next Thursday, this Thursday, I have a NEK area agency on aging meeting on the zoom platform uh, that's at 10 o'clock so that's what i've got okay i have nothing uh had um okay corey scott afternoon everyone oh here for a bid opening on a new heart monitor slash defibrillator Clerk's office presenting me the bids that arrived at their office today. So, when you're ready, we can open sealed bids. Okay. Uh, the first one is from Zoll Medical. Thirty-four thousand nine hundred and seventy-six twenty-eight. Thirty-four nine seven six twenty-eight. Correct. Next one doesn't have a name on the outside. This one would be from Striker, which would be Physio Control. Physio control from Stryker Medical is $33,939.95. Last one is from Berno, which I believe will be Phillips Medical. And that is a Phillips monitor. Their bid is $37,361.60. What action would you like to take today? Um, given the complexity of medical equipment, I would really like the opportunity to go back and review and see if there's bid variances and go through each 
then make sure it meets our specification and then come back on, I believe the 10th is come the next meeting with my recommendation for purchase. Meetings at noon, so. At noon. Yeah, on the on the, yeah, I need to get on the agenda. Yep, I will make sure I contact Kaylee or Michelle and I'll get on the agenda and I'll give my, my recommendation at that time. Okay, I also have a question. Um, I see that uh, we still on the books, we have an ambulance committee and I don't think that they've been uh, COVID, yeah, shut down those in-person meetings. But is it, do, is that still something that's needed? Should that be discontinued, or you want that the availability my, of it? Or my understanding of it was is it was primarily in place initially for the transition from hospital-based EMS to what became private EMS, and then that committee was retained for the transition from private EMS to public EMS. Am I correct? And that's why it was established. I was thinking it was just established when we took it over from from uh, Jackson County based operations. So um, its primary mission was to oversee and guide the transition. Mm -hmm. correct? Right. From my standpoint, I'm perfectly happy to work with it either way. But from a professional opinion, I think it has run its course and done its due diligence. But it would be ultimately up to the commissioners to decide whether to dissolve it or continue on. Well, you know, if if there was no intention of using it, next week is our organizational meeting, like we've said. So I, I just thought, you know, is is that something we should just strike or or leave in? And you know, it doesn't it doesn't make me any difference. It is a, I mean, it could be a tool, but if you don't think you'll use it, I don't know what the other commissioners think about it either. Is it gotten? And I, I want to stress that the committee is great with. I mean, I have zero complaints. The people that were placed on the committee, it was supportive. It, it worked very well during the transition when I took over. So I'm very happy with that committee. But as it went, even before COVID, it really came to, we were meeting, I presented the monthly report, and we had a few little discussions, and it, it wasn't near as detailed or as in-depth as it was during the transition. So we'll decide on Monday whether we're going to keep it or not. Yeah. But I can yeah. work with it either way. I mean, like okay. I said, the, the members of it were great. It, it worked well during the transition. Yeah, I was on that, and I think so too. You know, it, but it ran well, its usefulness, so, you know, and it's like, why keep something on if it's just in name only? So, okay, thank you. Not a problem. Okay. Next, I have approval of county service contracts. And these are contracts for the scope of work in general is the provide, attorney will provide legal services in Edson County in cases filed in Edson County for the following categories, representation of indigenous individuals charged with misdemeanors, representation of minor children, uh, representation of juveniles involved in district court, representation of individuals involved in district court, representation of individuals involved in district court action and pursuant the code of alcohol and substance abuse, representation of individual alleged to be a contempt of court, representation of other cases. Um, the uh, contract is for four individuals for 30, Let me make sure I get the right amount here. Blind pattern, I'm not looking at this correctly. Give me one, maybe I can find some. It's, yeah. um, it's 30, I know it's 3,400 and so I should get the exact amount. Uh, second page on number six. Okay, $3,041.67 a month. The attorneys for the contract are um, John Kurt. Um, Robert Stephan, Judd Herbster, Herbster, and Rex Lane. And Rex Lane. 
Uh, the chair would take, consider a motion to allow the chairman to recite the, sign these contracts on behalf of the county. Is we'll make a motion, motion to uh, sign all four contracts. And I'll, and I'll second it. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. aye passes to the zero. Get them all here. Uh, County Councilor updates. Uh, I don't have anything special today. We don't, I don't believe we have any executive sessions today. Um, any public comment? Seeing none, the chair would entertain a motion to adjourn at 111 p.m. Also move. I'll second that. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes to the, to the, to the zero. You are adjourned.